and today we're having a special guest, my granddaughter Chloe. Hello. She's going to be the sous chef today and we're going to make a herb encrusted baked chicken with a butternut squash sauce with shiitake mushroom pasta. Okay, we're going to start off, I cleaned and dried a whole chicken. Chloe, if you would be so kind as to pass me the pepper. There we go. Just sprinkle lightly. Now the salt, and we're going to use that truffle salt. There we go. i get this to open up a little bit. It comes in these little containers. It can be difficult sometimes, so make sure it goes all over the chicken. Now I love doing these kind of uh, videos with my family. I love to have my children and grandchildren involved. Um, it teaches them how to cook. It makes my time more enjoyable. It's just a wonderful way to share time with my family. Okay, so we've got the pepper and we've got the, the truffle salt. We're going to drizzle with olive oil. <clears throat> just a little bit because now I'm going to make the herbs and I'm going to use a little bit of the olive oil in that. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> if you don't have a food processor or a blender, I have a coffee grinder which just works just the same. So we're going to add the olive oil. Okay, you see Chloe? I'll put it up to that high. Okay, and we're going to use these fresh herbs that I've gotten here. Ooh. Yeah, we've got the chives. Take a little bit of chives. We're going to move our chicken aside for just a moment. I'm going to chop it up a little bit. Chloe, can you get Grandma some basil? Let's get the, the plants over here. This is the basil right here. Okay. Give me a couple of the leaves. And what you're going to do is you're just going to pull them out and you're going to put them at the tip so they look like that. So if you can just pull a few of those out for me, that would be great. While I put these chives together and chop them up. Okay. And it doesn't have to be chopped perfectly. It's just so that, you know, when I once I get it into the coffee grinder, it chops up a little even, more even. I need a, maybe three more. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the chives. Nice job. Put that in there. Okay, I'm going to roll these up. I'm going to cut them up a little bit. I'm going to need a little bit of rosemary. Now, rosemary, Chloe, is this one right here. Okay. And I love rosemary. It's great for fish. It's great for chicken. It has a distinct smell. Oh, no, just a wonderful flavor for the chicken. You like that? Mm -hmm. Nice. So we're going to put a little bit of it in here. And you don't really need a lot of rosemary. It's one of those strong herbs that if you put too much, it kind of kills the aroma. So we have a little bit of time. Not just on the video, but time. Oh, smell of that one. Yum. Yum. All right. So, so far we've got four different herbs. And we're going to mix that up in here. Put the top. And it's just going to chop it all up for me. Not just for coffee. come almost like a like a pesto. So we're going to take some lemon. Take the uh, seeds out. I'm going to squeeze it in there. Okay. I had a couple of uh, seeds going there, so I'm just going to grab a spoon and pull them out because we don't want seeds in there. One more. Now this is a, a great simple dish. It's nice for the summer. So I'm going to add that. We added a little bit of the salt. Open this little container up again. 
Chloe, how about if you take a little pinch of that and toss it right in there? Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Fantastic. How about if you push that down for me? And then, you know, just wait maybe 30 seconds or so, just so it gets nice and mixed. Okay, I think we're good. Excellent. Thank you. really what we're going to do. We're going to take this, we're going to move the lemon, bring our chicken back to the front, and start rubbing. Let's get a couple of gloves. Miss Chloe, you need a pair of gloves too. So does Grandma. Now remember, we've already salted and peppered the chicken. All right, Grandma's got one too. Okay. You ready? It's almost like we're performing surgery. <laughs> I got a spoonful. Just gonna dab it. Since this is a whole chicken cut up, we're really going to have to share the sauce. Okay. Now, Chloe is going to go around the chicken and she's just going to rub it in, just like that, making sure that the surface of the chicken has some. So you go ahead and do that for me, Chloe. Okay, just take your time. Now we've got green chicken. There we go, nice. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of here. Okay. Fantastic. chicken. Use gloves, wash your utensils, very important. Now we've covered the chicken in the sauce, we've drizzled a little bit of olive oil on it and a tiny bit of adobo. Okay, it's just a little bit of adobo. Now I know that sometimes children are hesitant to try new things but I think maybe if we bring them into the process it might be easier for them to see where the food comes from, how it's prepared, and maybe more likely to try it. Now, she saw that this was all green grass, as far as she's concerned, but these are actually great herbs, great flavor. And Chloe, would you like to try some? Yes. Go ahead. Mm, good. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're going to put the chicken in, 375 for about 45 minutes, and we'll be right back to start on the butternut squash. We're going to start our ingredients for our shiitake mushroom and butternut squash sauce. We started with a couple of grape tomatoes and some shiitake mushrooms. We've got the butternut squash, it's nice and cut up. Now I'm going to toss it to boil. So while it's boiling, we can put these to rose, put a little salt and pepper on them. So we're just going to toss them in. And we'll let that boil for maybe about 15, 20 minutes or so. So we'll put this aside. Now all we need is a little olive oil. Chloe, pass me the olive oil, please. This one? Yep. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to drizzle that. Sure, everything gets a little bit. Oh, there's a little one. There one in. There you go. She's solid. Thank goodness. A little salt. Pepper. Okay, Chloe, pass me some oregano, please. Excellent job. Mm. Take a smell of that. Oh, that is good, huh? Yeah, it does. We're going to just put a little bit around. 
There we go. Okay, and then we're going to toss this in the oven. Now the mushrooms and the tomatoes are done. We pulled them out, and I'd really like to see if Chloe would like to try one. Chloe, this is a shiitake mushroom. Okay. Would you like to try one? Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Tell me what you think. It's good. You like it? All right. High five. I like this. Mmm. Now, this is ready. I'm chopping up some of the shallots with some fresh garlic. The butternut squash is ready too. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine them all. I put a little bit of olive oil to heat up. I'm going to saute the shallots and the fresh garlic while I blend the butternut squash, the tomatoes, and the shiitake mushrooms. Okay? This here, we're going to be careful. We don't want Chloe to get hurt. So she's going to just stand by and watch while Grandma chops up some onions. There's some on the Yep, we're going to throw those away. to the bathroom to wash her eyes. <laughs> the garlic going, so we're going to put that in. Nice. And we're just going to saute this lightly. Okay, and I'm going to add the mushrooms and the tomatoes. I'm going to keep Chloe to the side since this is where our heat is. I don't want her to get burned. But she can clearly see from here. Just adding all of the mixture. saute for a little bit and then we're going to mix it in the blender and then we'll have our sauce and then we'll start making our pasta and we'll check in our chicken as soon as we come we're going to check on how the chicken's going it's been about 40 minutes or so so we're going to pull it down pull it out let's get that in there there we go nice as you can see it's still light it still needs i would say at least another 30 40 minutes we want this to be nice and golden brown. Okay. As you can see, the, the butternut squash, the tomatoes, the garlic, everything has been put together, and now we're going to puree it. Okay. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my blender. But I'm going to need to liquefy it using a little bit of chicken stock. So we're going to use some of the stock of the chicken that's being cooked right now. So we'll be right back, and I'm going to show you how we're going to pull that out and I'm going to pull it. the chicken out. I'm going to take a little bit of the stock from the chicken. There we go. Just put it into a small bowl. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. I'll take that now and put it in my blender. And really what I want to do is make it into a sauce. I don't want it to be too thick or too light. It's going to go over a nice pasta. So let's start off with this. Let's move everything around. Okay. Now I'm not going to use only the chicken stock because remember the chicken stock has got a lot of fat in it. So we're going to use some of the regular stock, which I've chosen a vegetable broth that's low in sodium. And I'm going to match it. Whatever it is I was able to get out of there, I'm going to use to match it. Okay. Now we're going to so add gonna... the butternut squash to the sauce. Just take spoonfuls. You know, you're not in a hurry. 
Don't plop it in because then you'll have a mess. Let's bring this down here and be a little quicker. And that way you have a nice fresh sauce for your pasta. We're back. Chloe, you ready? Yep. All right, flip the switch. chicken, our butternut squash with shiitake mushroom sauce over the pasta, served with a little bit of uh, parmesan slices. Thank you so much for watching our show, for enjoying the time that I have with my granddaughters, for viewing us, for liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and watching us on syndicatednews.net. Thank Bye. you.